Okay, so Pi News episode 75. First up, we had a cool story from Tom's Hardware and it's overclocking the Raspberry Pi Pico to 270 megahertz. Uh, the default clock speed is 133, so that's quite an impressive task. It's a good article, so I won't go through it, but um, it talks about why you will want to overclock or in fact underclock if you want to use less power. Uh, but all the information is in there, it's really well written. And I saw this uh, YouTube short came up on my feed the other day. I went straight for the jugular. Write me a program to take pictures using a Raspberry Pi. So this guy uses ChatGPT to create code uh, and, well, I'll put a link in the description to watch the video. It's only a very short video, but it's worth having a look at. But it's really nicely put together. So it's worth watching to the end to see if it was a success or not. Another AI related story. Uh, so Clippy, which was the old Microsoft assistant, gets smarter with Raspberry Pi and ChatGPT. Uh, this is another YouTube video and you can see on the desk in front of them, this is the device and you can see there's Clippy there with a little screen. And it responds like Google Assistant or Alexa. Hey Clippy, how can I help? What is Clippy? And I won't show any more of that, I'll let you watch the video to see the results, but it is very impressive. A couple of cool stories on Facebook related to Raspberry Pi. Just seen this for sale on Facebook Marketplace, love it. Raspberry Pi water cooling frame, £150. And it just, it's just a cool image. All the pipes, all the fans and everything else. And it's worth having a look through the comments. And this also from Facebook. Uh, no third party USB capture card. Is it possible to use a Pi as an HDMI capture card? HDMI input from HDMI to CSI2 board. Output to Pi on the go USB support. Now I've got one of these similar capture devices and I found it to be absolutely fine. Although I use a, an Ava Media for capturing my videos. So there's an answer here. Yes, Raspberry Pis can capture HDMI through their camera port. WaveShare HDMI to CSI camera adapter. Support input of 1080p 30fps. Compatible with lots of Raspberry Pis. So we click on this. So £33.29. Now to use HDMI cameras just as the standard Raspberry Pi CSI cameras. Next up, I got contacted by Volx PC who make Linux, which works with Android 13, which is very impressive. I've got a separate video on it. Our latest release is based on Constacang's Android 13, which supports hardware video to code. Also, our Linux distribution is now based on Debian Bookworm XFCE 4.18. So we go to the Volx PC site. All the information is on there. As I say, I've done a video on how to install it. And on the Constacang page, so the latest update we had, Fix H265 hardware decoding on HEVC main 10 profile videos. New update to Mesa. HDMI audio improvements. And the previous update had a lot of uh, hardware video decoding improvements as well. So always great work by Consta Kang and everybody else involved in that. Over to TikTok now, this is really cool. So basically they're using a plastic bottle for 3D printing. Now I won't show the video, but I think this is one, yeah, so you can see heating it up, putting some sort of mixture on it. And then this machine is very cool. So it cuts it into long strips and the end result is a usable Raspberry Pi case. Very impressive. I haven't been able to use my 3D printer because we've had the builders in, but I dusted it off yesterday because there's something I want to print out. But I haven't got any of the extras needed to convert plastic bottles. Very admirable though. And I had a comment from Pete Vanderhorst. I haven't got around to it yet. Fido S16 now available for Pi 4 400. Any chance of a short video review? So we have a look at the Fido S page. The download is available there. I'll put a link in the description. Fido S is excellent. Chrome OS on a Raspberry Pi, really, really good performance, but also the ability to run Android apps as well with a full desktop experience. Tom's Hardware, again, you can add a second HDMI port to a laptop with Raspberry Pi. DIY display link. Looks like a Pi 3B. Oh yeah, it is, Pi 3B. The premise is simple. Stream the screen data using Ethernet to Raspberry Pi, then output the screen via the Pi's HDMI port. And it's a really detailed description, loads of information in there, definitely worth looking at. And from Hot Hardware, which is a site I've not seen before, watch Half-Life 2 run as smooth as butter natively on a Raspberry Pi 4. Half-Life 2 is now 19 years old. Taking advantage of the 2018 Team Fortress 2 source code leak, the creator successfully compiled the software on a Raspberry Pi 4. Not only did the creator make the game work on a Raspberry Pi, but they also implemented additional features. And there's a GitHub repository there as well. Very nice. I have shown Half-Life 1 running at 100 FPS, which is very good. 
Tom's Hardware again. Uh, Raspberry Pi, Pico, and Bricks, Nintendo, Wii U. Now, I've seen quite a few stories pop up about Wii U's failing. Uh, I've got a Wii U, which I, I love. It's a brilliant device. And there's a video here, so using a Pi Pico to be able to unbrick a Wii U. So if you're in that predicament, then there is a fix. Not sure how usable this is, but uh, it's impressive nonetheless. A ring that can run Doom. It was only a matter of time. James Ancient Brown managed to get the game playing on a wearable ring. And there's a video here of it running. And it's based on an RP2040, which is the Raspberry Pi Pico chip. And last up, but certainly not least if you live in this area, Raspberry Pi Limited to open pop-up store in West Quay in April. A best-selling computer company is coming to Southampton next month, but only for two days. And the date is April the 7th and April the 8th. And in these pop-up shops, you can get Raspberry Pis that you can't normally get. Customers will be able to buy Raspberry Pi's flagship computer, Raspberry Pi 4, as well as a range of add-ons and merch. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.